All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be replacing the head bolts on this 3406. A little while back, I came across this generator. In my monthly check, I noticed that one of the head bolts was broken right off. So we went ahead and ordered all new head bolts, started replacing them. We got the easy ones done already, and now we're going to be working on the harder to get to ones. This one luckily has a hardwired battery charger that's also on the same circuit as the lights. So you gotta shut the lights off and disconnect power before you can uh, disconnect the batteries. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this generator is somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 kW. This does provide emergency power for a nearby building. So that's why we kind of broke this up into a couple of days because you can't really leave a generator down for you know overnight. So typically we try to get done what we can get done in a day and put it back together and do it all over again the next day until it's done, you know, that way. We don't have to worry about the power going out when we're not here. Most of these head bolts you can pretty easily get to with everything together, but there's one that was under this intake pipe that we couldn't get to, and then there's four that are under the rocker assembly, and then the rockers themselves are held down with three head bolts, which are a little bit longer than the other head bolts. Lucky for us, this generator has been running without load, so cylinder pressure is down a little bit, so we uh, got lucky and didn't push the head gasket at all with that bolt being broken, and I think we caught it soon enough that we we're not going to have any issues. We're going through and doing these one at a time, except for the ones where you got to get the rockers out, then they're going to be four out at a time, but it shouldn't be an issue. These get torqued down to between 330 and 350 foot-pounds. The uh, longer bolts, I'd go to 350 just because they're a little longer. They're going to have a little more stretch. When you're installing these new head bolts, you want to make sure that you put oil on the threads. Make sure you get the washer and the head of the bolt as well. I'm going to go ahead and get the engine pinned before we get too far into this, just so that way it's all ready to go when we go to set the valves. This will look so much better after I edit it. <laughs> Make it look like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Add a little voiceover so it sounds like we know what we're doing. We're speaking from experience. This experience.
just a regular flat head. So these have an adjustment on the bridge. You can see between the two valves there, there's a dowel that that bridge rides on. As the valves wear out, if one wears out more than the other, that bridge can get cocked and it can get stuck and cause problems for you. You wanna make sure that you adjust these while you're in here. You can do these with the rockers in there. We just figured it'd be easier since we already had everything else apart. Why not hit the bridges with it apart like this? And basically with these, you're gonna put your finger on the back valve without the adjustment, push down, and then you're gonna loosen the adjuster and tighten it until it just makes contact with the front valve. And uh, once it makes contact, you're gonna go half a flat more on the, on the lock nut and then tighten it down and you're good to go. Sure would be a shame. So now that we've got everything back together, we're gonna go ahead and set the valves on this. The adjustment procedure is the same as the 3126. I'll link to that video because we've already covered this subject. The only difference is the valve lash on the 3406. It's 15 on the intake and 30 on the exhaust. We did also find on this engine, it had, it seemed to have two holes in the flex plate where the pin would go in. Uh, whereas on the 3126, it only had the one hole. So you're either at one or six top dead center when that pin dropped in. On this one, I don't know what the second hole was for, but when it dropped into that second hole, one or six was that bottom dead center intake stroke. So that'll throw you off a little bit. And we spent a little time trying to figure that out. Once all your valves are adjusted, those lock nuts get torqued to 22 foot pounds. Now we're ready to start throwing this engine back together. Been there for a while. Did crank for a little while because you got to get fuel back into those lines there that go over the rockers. Uh, it did fire right up. We let it run for about an hour or so. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, that's how we feel about non-subscribed people. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.